Hey, this is the Abyss News Channel. My name's Andrew. How are you doing? Um, just received a report that um, uh, the Osaka mayor, uh, Mr. Hashimoto, is um, uh, going to force ahead with um, forcing uh, public school children, about 56,000 of them, to, um, to eat radioactive uh, school lunches. Now they're, they're being forced to do so, and uh, um, if they have, the only exception made is if they have allergies of some sort. So uh, you can't bring your own school lunch, your, your, your homemade bento box. Um, these Osaka children will have to um, eat their radioactive um, school lunches. So, uh, you know, this is, this is like uh, a forced uh, genocide, just like Dr. Chris Busby says, uh, has said that, um, you know, the Japanese government, they're trying to uh, sort of democratize the radioactive, uh, radioactive contamination throughout Japan. So, so uh, perhaps uh, TEPCO is not so, um, the case for suing TEPCO is not so strong. Um, you know, this is genocide, there's going to be a, a radioactive Nuremberg for these people. Um, I don't know when it will happen, hopefully very soon. Um, but, um, you know, I spent a lot of time in Tokyo. I love Tokyo, but um, I also spent a lot of time in uh, Osaka, Nara, and, uh, and Kyoto as well, in the Kansai area. So uh, I think of you know the people I knew, uh, people I know, and um, and their children who are you know growing up, um, and uh, you know who knows well, maybe they're not eating this uh, radioactive food, but um, it's just uh, uh, the word conspiracy isn't really um, you know it's I mean it's obvious it, it's 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 a you call it what you want it's a collusion it's an agenda. It's uh, an agreement um, that the government is forcing upon businesses and semi-public entities to uh, spread the radiation around as much as they can in the water, in the food, and you know, packaged products, uh, in the air, through, through incineration. Or not, you know, notwithstanding the, um, the winds carrying the uh, radiation from Fukushima in, in, in the water table. So. Um, yeah, it's just it's just um, madness. So, uh, for me myself, I, I've you know this, I, I want to get the word out like anyone else, um, and you know I'm thinking of you know media projects and uh, things to do. But at the same time, I feel a lot of uh, self-loathing because um, you know there's there's only so much I, I I can do with this body and with the uh, the amount of time. That I have, and you know, I feel like I, I'm not um, productive enough, you know. And you know, this this uh, issue is so pressing, you know, minute by minute, hour by hour. So, um, you know, that's. I think it's time we. Uh, you know, it's well beyond time. You know, I haven't done enough. You know, I want to turn to pamphleteering, um, word of mouth, uh, like uh, for example, putting, um, making a small leaflet with uh, uh, people's documentaries and reports. On them, like for example, with my uh, documentary on Fukushima, Fukushima Beach, making a small leaflet, promotional leaflet, just handing it out to people, saying, it's just just saying that you're an, an environmental activist or some such, and uh, there's this really important movie or or clip that you have come up with, um, uh, explaining what um, the um, radiation risk is. Um, uh, so pressing it as a, as a green issue or an environmental issue. Uh, uh, really, I think gets people's attention. So it's humanitarian. I mean, you know, beyond that, it's it's not just um, you know a movie for the sake of seeing a movie. Um, so uh, you know, we can uh, go out with a lot of posture. You know, don't don't take any um, BS from anybody about what uh, what is going on, because um, this involves all of humanity. Uh, Unit four. And just um, you know, humans taking care of each other, uh, be it um, nine, from nine thousand kilometers away, or if you're in Japan itself, um, it's just completely ironic because um, uh, you know I remember about two thousand four, two thousand three, there was a SARS outbreak, uh, a smaller SARS outbreak in, in around the world, and a little bit in Japan. And this just Chinese doctor, he came to. He, he had contracted SARS, supposedly, as dangerous as it was or was not. But there was a huge media hype about it, and um, he 
uh, was allowed, he went to Japan with SARS in, in a condition where he had the SARS uh, illness and he traveled throughout uh, I think Kansai he went to a place called Himeji Castle even the, the most famous castle in Japan and um, the Japanese authorities were so um, worried about him spreading SARS that they traced his entire movements throughout throughout Japan in the time that he was there and he, when he went back to Hong Kong he apologized to the, to the nation of Japan and said oh, I'm sorry and what they did is they they wiped down the whole of Himeji Castle where he, they thought he had uh, you know perhaps touched the handrails and you know walked they wiped all that down to remove the SARS a SARS virus or whatever illness it was. So, uh, you know, incredible, you know, logistical um, uh, response to uh, the SARS virus to protect the people of Japan. And, you know, maybe it was merited. I, I don't know if the SARS was, virus was um, completely, um, uh, you know, overblown. But, um, you know, so, you know, massive public health um, crusade to... Uh, Rid Japan of this this doctor's um, uh, diseased uh, you know trail, and um, you know radiation from Fukushima. You just let it, just let it. Put it in the food. You know, burn it. Spread it all over Japan. Uh, let the children eat, eat the radioactive food. Um, it's all okay. It's safe for you. Just smile and you'll be fine. So just completely, you know. Unbelievable! I don't have words to uh, to explain or to um, uh, you know express you know well, you know this situation where uh, you have two you know completely different responses to to uh, you know just you know un, un completely different threats you know SARS you know how many people are going to die from it uh, and radiation well you know it could be millions. So, um, you know, these children, uh, if not soon, later, uh, if, if they, you know, if um, the government and their parents allow them to, to eat this food, to, uh, to not evacuate uh, from North Japan, Central Japan, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be, um, you know, just a terrible, you know, um, mass murder of, uh, of people. Uh, so, um, thanks all for watching. Um, I um, do apologize for, to a few of you because I haven't responded to some of your emails. I don't get a lot of messages in my inbox, but uh, if you've sent me emails um, in the last three or four days or five days, um, you know who you are. And um, I'm sorry I haven't got back to you. I just had some, some issues I had to deal with here. And uh, I'm just working on my next project, uh, documentary. It's going to be weeks in the coming, but... Uh, um, in coming, but uh, I want to get it out before December 2012 um, because um, there's a chance that if we can get the word out about what's going to happen, then um, then um, you know, any if people can understand what's going on, even in the last sort of um, um, in the last gasps, uh, like in late November, you know, they can still get ready and um, perhaps respond rather than you know react. Um, in a sort of a panicked fashion so watch out for that uh, I'll tell you how it's going um, so yeah that, that's in the works and hope you all well spreading the word uh, commend you all who are just you know who are really on it um, you know getting the news pieces out as they happen um, and um, please uh, keep following um, the news as it comes out uh, this is Andrew Abyss take care y'all and uh, see you soon bye